Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, what for us today? A little Firefox, a uh, small one, Firefox 5. Um, this one goes into a twin wall chimney system on the outside of the house. We're in a uh, town today, so um, this house don't have chimneys, so it's got the twin wall put on the outside. Um, customers burning nice dry wood, as you should be able to see there. Look, kiln dried stuff. Little fire was already set. I've taken that out. So, uh, today I've already taken the parts out, I've got the baffle out, the baffle out and one, one brick. And I've got this Viper thing, which I'm not, uh, it's new to me, it's not a way of sweeping I'm used to, but uh, I'm practicing with it and I've had some good results. So, um, I've found it's best on twin wall systems. Um, which is why I bought it really. So uh, as this customer burns wood, I'm going to use this stiff star. Uh, there is a soft one on there which you can swap. Um, but because they burn a bit of wood, I'm just going to see how it goes. I used that hard star yesterday and it, it did a good job. And it wasn't difficult to get up and down, but we'll find out what it's like on this one. And then, of course, when we finish here, there's a sump on the outside to do. Okay. So, you, it's difficult to use the plastic sheet on these. Because it's not sectional like the rods, you can't put the plastic rod in and a plastic sheet and just keep putting rods on. This is one full thing, so you've either got to take the head off and put it through, or do it without. <laughs> so let's see how that goes here. <laughs> the vacuum on. couple of bends we need to get around.
So as you can see, it's a little bit more tricky going around the uh, the bends. There's two, um, I think they're probably 45 degree bends. And you've just got to give it a bit of a shove. But we're at the top now. So basically this is just like manual sweeping. You need to just go up and down a couple of times. Or down and back up again. Okay, so we are, I'm still learning on this one, but we are now in that top bend where the 45 joins the main upright section of the chimney. And you can tell because the soot now falls into here and not into the sump outside. So, um, so I'll get the vacuum on and just make sure no soot comes out. I do need to do, figure out a way to seal up, perhaps, or not use this um, when you're sweeping in the house, unless you really have to. I haven't decided yet. So, we'll drag down. Now guys, this brush, this brush here, it's called a star, and the same as what I've got for the mini mole, but these brushes are more, a lot stiffer than they look. The soft one's really soft, but this one, with the black one, I can't remember if it's like a hard one or a medium one or whatever, but it's a lot stiffer than it looks and I wouldn't want to push anything more stiff than this up them on this thin thin rod but it does do a good job just got them down a few times I have used it on a few uh, houses so far and um, yeah it works fine it's more to do with not it not working and not, not cleaning this up but you've got to use this on the right installation it's not suitable for everything but I like it
just need to go up and down there one more time. Vacuum on. should be. Drink of water if it's warm today. A 
Uya. Drawing okay, um, a bit of blowback, it's just not the best um, weather for draft today. I could warm it up like I have been suggested before, yeah, and it'll work. Uh, I know it's not blocked, I know it works because the customer uses it with no issues. Once there's a bit of heat in there, you know, it's completely fine. Um, it is a twin wall system, so they do suffer from the cold, you know, when they get cold. as it was when I turned it. There you go. Done. We're going to go outside and um, have a look at the outside bit, empty the sump out and we should be able to see daylight and see how clean the chimney is. If it's not clean I'll do it again but I'm sure it'll be fine. See you there. Now then, we're just in the neighbour's driveway because <coughs> the uh, chimney's on the side, that side of the house. Um, so there's our twin wall system look, dead straight. That's the bend uh, we struggled with a little bit, but all of a sudden should have fallen into this sump. It's pretty straightforward. So I've got my ladder set up. I just need to get the cover off. the bucket underneath to catch anything that falls out. Yeah, got to check for uh, these the lid at the bottom there. There's a soot, the soot of sat on it with, often with water on it. They do corrode. This one's corroded, the little hook has snapped off, you see.
Okay. Apart from the little bit at the bottom where the brush hasn't been, let's have a look at the chimney. Yeah, I like that. That's really clean. So, so the Viper thing, you know, um, do I prefer it over the rotary? No. Um, it's a bit quicker, I'd say, maybe. Um, but the rotary is easier to seal up and it sort of fits my routine maybe the viper will one day i don't know so uh i'll use the viper i don't regret buying the viper don't think i'd use it on everything especially if it's got funny bends in or super hard deposits i think the rotor has still got the edge there but for it's easy to carry, it's easy to use, no clicking and unclicking rods together. It's, it's got its benefits too. Yeah, and it works well on twin wall. So, in there then, through that little tiny hole, can you see it? A little tiny hole. There was uh, a screw. <laughs> poking through which that then hooked onto but I dropped it when I took it out so I'm gonna go to the van get another one one minute right then I've, I didn't have any little screws I've got a tech screw jam that in the hole sure it'll be fine I've already got the lid on, it just pushes in and twists. I did clean it out before um, I put it back on. That'll do. I have checked the carbon monoxide alarm inside. Uh, it's got a year left on it. Um, test socket. This one's done every year and there's, there's never, we've never had the hassle yet. Back to the van. You follow the ladders. Van dog in there. Say hi to Sarah. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> well, there's me, uh, 
screws and that. I recently filled up my uh, nuts and bolt screws, washers, nuts and whatnot. Got plenty in there for a while. Sharpest thing. Oh, this is good. Graphite powder. It's good for sopping hinges and that squeaking. Okay. So I'm going to uh, get everything in the van, get packed up here, move on to the next one. Um, got any questions or comments, uh, just make them in the comment section. I will see you there. Um, yeah, and have yourselves a great day. Take it easy now. Bye.